Hey everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a few weeks since I've been able to get on here, but, um, you know, there's been a lot of personal issues in my life, just trying to rehabilitate my schedule at the moment with school and work that I haven't been able to really do much, much of anything, unfortunately. Um, kind of been slacking a bit as far as training goes, but on the plus side, I did get a new webcam finally. So that's something to be uh, you know a little bit happy about. It's always that little victory, you know, that's what it's all about. And with that, kind of segues into what I wanted to talk about today. Well, tonight, you know, it's eleven o'clock at night on a Sunday, and I'm making videos. <laughs> um, what I wanted to talk to you all about tonight was what a, a concept that. I've heard described to me and that I really enjoy the concept of in terms of describing it to other people and that's this process of what's called counting the cost now what this basically means is that the personally personal experience as of late I've had a lot of negative slack thrown my way from very close family and friends you know, and it's not, it's not malicious. There's absolutely no ill will intent on it. It's more of, you know, you're a young dad. You have so much else going on in your life that you need to do and to deal with. Why are you going to try and take on more stressors? Why are you training to be a mixed martial artist? Why are you going to school for all these different classes and to be an engineer? You know, why are you going to a Big Ten school? Why are you doing all these things? And the answer, to me at least, is that it makes the most sense. You know, I mean, yeah, the, the money in a lot of those fields and what I want to pursue is great, but I don't do it for that. You know, to be completely honest, I could, <laughs> you know, I've tried. I've done it. it was some of the happiest times I've been, living like a flipping Buddhist monk. Training, eating, sleeping, continuing. I mean, it didn't get paid a dime. Loved it. every bit of it. You know, when you do something you love, it, it's honestly true. Time just kind of passes by, and these things just fall into place. Um, and that, that's why I, these goals that I have, yeah, they're very grand, but they're things that they keep me going. And so when I keep my eye to where I want to be, uh, all these other, you know, stressors and things in my life, they they fall to the wayside. Um, until I look at them. <laughs> you know, it, it's sort of that whole idea of don't look down. It's very true. So many possibly successful people, and so many successful people, I, I don't necessarily call myself successful, but through the successes that I have had in my life, they've all been bred in multiple failures. And I think that's how everything is. You know, it's this whole idea of progress over perfection. You know, there, there's no such thing as human perfection. There, there's not. You know. But there is such a thing as getting as close to perfection as possible through this process of constant progression, constantly pushing your limits, your boundaries, your comfort zones. This idea that if you continuously do this, you, our outward progressional rate is infinite you know it's one of those things where we look at what we have in our mind and our, our anatomy and our physiology and how humans work we look at all this thing these things and it's so inspiring because there's literally there's no limit to what we can do it's just a matter of getting over that plateau of very singular thought uh, that thought that you know, in my personal experience, I'm a very multifaceted person. You ask anybody, I have an interest in just about any field on the face of the planet. And um, you know, that's because I idolize people that had those ideas, and I realize that people way, way before we were even here. You, you're looking at you know the Leonardo da Vinci's and the Benjamin Franklin's of the universe. These people that were so they had a master's or a mastery of just so many different fields of study, you know, literature, art, 
uh, science, progressional mathematics, all these different ideas and philosophies, and they, they just hold their their own with all of these. And it, it really goes to show that you can be a you know a jack of all trades and a master of many. You know you don't have to limit yourself to a few. Um, but the minute that we sit there and we look at, okay, a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. You know, that's great. It's amazing to understand. There's so many people that understand that. The problem is that the continuity of it, the ability to sit there and continuously say, even after 1,000 steps, 2,000 steps, 3 miles, 5 miles, 100 miles, to keep going. Because prospectively, from that first step that you took to that that thousand miles to ten thousand miles seems like a very big, big accomplishment. But in the term of your goal, what you were originally striving for, it's not it. You know, so you got to keep prospectively looking at where you want to be, as opposed to where you're at and where you've been. And that's that, that's something so important to me. And something that I want to share with all of you because I feel that every single one of you that's listening right now has this unlimited potential. And you know, I I just want I want to be able to get more and more people to realize this um, this whole idea. So, and I, one thing I wanted to say too is that I understand that I'm out here for my own personal support, and I do have a lot of other projects in the making that. I more than happy would like to hear your feedback on it and have you know, your your opinion on it. But I'm here for you as well, you know, for every single person that supports me, you know, every single like, which I'm again so so appreciative. Uh, all the feedback that I can get, critiques, negative, positive, it doesn't matter because in the long run, it's building me into a better blogger, a better writer, a better scholar, all these things. So you know, there, since I am so multifaceted, there are certainly a number of things in certain fields and multiple fields that I can relate to, as many of you can. So I, my goal here is not only to center you know, some type of accountability and record for myself, it's to create a community somewhere where we have a ever-growing exponentially community of people that we can continuously rely on in some way or another, you know? So, with that being said, I just want to say again, I love every single one of you for all the support and for just continuously helping me find motivation to make videos at nearly midnight when I have to be up in four and a half hours. Just, I can't thank you enough. I mean that. So, uh, if there's anything you feel like I can do better, or any advice, anything you want from me or to me, give to me, please let me know. And I will talk to you all next week. Bye bye.